This country is preparing for war with France and it is a circumstance worthy observation how suddenly a whole nation can change their sentiments with their politics. The different light in which the English and French were viewed even when we first arrived in 96 and that in which they are now respectively held fills me with astonishment. And though I have seen this in its progress yet, so violently does the tide now flow in favour of the English nation and against the French that there are moments when I think magic art must have worked it. In truth, I believe that the insolence of the French themselves have affected it. Others have only availed themselves of the opportunities offered. The dispatches from the three American commissioners now at Paris have given ostensibly the death blow to the French interest here for the moment. Volunteer regiments have been raised with the most astonishing celerity, every man of an age to enlist as a soldier, and a very fine appearance they make. General Washington has allowed himself to be named by the President, Commander-in-Chief, and in consequence broke the resolution he had formed at retirement never to stray further from Mount Vernon than the city of Washington. His duty obliged him to pass 10 days in Philadelphia. The Alien Bill has also gone rapidly through both houses. Though the American character is in general cold and phlegmatic, political changes are like electrical shocks.